Where are we? Idaho. Hey, I'm Sarah. This is Abby, and welcome to A Swool Unlimited. If you're new here, I'm a scuba instructor, and I moved into my van in 2021 after losing my dive shop in Indonesia due to shutdowns. I've been on the road diving around the U.S., Canada, and Mexico for the last two years, teaching on YouTube along the way. Calm down. All right. Really quick update on my expeditions coming up. I have one more spot available for Baja in December 2023. That's later this year. And there are still spots available for my Komodo trips in June 2024. I would really love for you to join. So if you're interested, check out the details on my website. I'll link them in the description below and in the pinned comment. Let's get into the video. If you would have told me one day that I would be diving in Idaho, I would have said you are crazy, but here I am. <laughs> I'm gonna be diving right off of that boat dock. There is an open water class, a deep diver specialty. I believe a couple of ass assistant instructors hanging out today. So it's uh, kind of busy for a dive site in Idaho. Oh, I'm sweaty already. I've gotten to do a few dives in my new undergarments from DUI. It looks like my waiting, more or less, with these two pieces of brand new, these are what, 300s, with two aluminum tanks in side mount. I need 16 pounds. When I went diving in Yellowstone, I took two steel tanks and I was way overweighted. I think I could get away with like eight pounds with the same undergarments. Today, I'm once again joining Nikki and Ben from Teach Me to Dive to explore Ryrie Reservoir. If you didn't see my last video about diving in Yellowstone Lake, make sure to check that out to learn more about them and to see the incredible spires and underwater geysers hidden in Yellowstone National Park. I had some trouble at the beginning of this dive due to slightly stuffed sinuses. I have experienced this before and felt comfortable continuing, but I'd like to talk about diving when sick. The general rule is don't do it. But I know that fellow instructors and dive professionals will chuckle at that because, well, a lot of us have been diving when we haven't felt 100%. This may have been due to pressure from bosses or our own needs to make money to survive. It happens. The consequences of diving while congested can range from experiencing slight discomfort during descents and ascents to very real barrow traumas. So really, it's not worth the risk. I'm forever blown away by the passion of scuba divers in landlocked states. There aren't a lot of options for dive sites out here, but all of these people make the most of what's available to them. This dive was fun for me because I haven't been seeing a lot of underwater creatures in the last couple of months. It's part of the reason why I'm ready to head back to Washington and the ocean. Puget Sound, I'm coming for you. Venga, vamos a salir un poco, a hablar con la gente. Come on, dive shop dog. Nice. Oh, do we love the dive shop? She's like, this is where I belong. Kid in a candy store. It's so exciting. <laughs> what do you do at a dive shop? Well, we're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we got on the topic of donkey basketball. <laughs> there you go. Donkey basketball. Learn something new every day. Yeah. 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 Learn something new
something new. <laughs> Abby. <laughs> How did you get here, honey? How did you get here? <laughs> what you doing? This little guy just appeared from the river. I, I don't know where home is. I don't know what it's doing here, but it's following me around the campsite everywhere. And this one, <laughs> this one just wants to fight with it, don't you? There's nothing there for you, baby. <laughs> yeah, do you like Crocs? They're the coolest of shoes, aren't they? Nope, oh, just kidding, hater. I have acquired my own personal escort to and from the bathroom. <laughs> Fan life is so weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. We have to go. Bye.